Is router one able to ping router two? What do you think? Pause the video at this point if you need more time to answer this question. Otherwise, I'm gonna show you the answers right now. Okay, so here's the console of router one. Show run interface gigabit zero zero. Notice IP address configured as follows. IPv6 address configured as follows per the diagram. Show run interface gigabit zero zero. This is router two, IP version four address, IPv6 address. Let's start with IP version four. Can the router ping itself? Yes, it can. Can it ping router two? with IP address 10.1.1.5? The answer is no. Why not? Are they physically connected to each other? Answer is yes. Show CDP neighbors on router two shows us that router one is connected to the local router. Show CDP neighbors here. Notice router one knows that it's connected to router two. So they have layer one, layer two connectivity issue is at layer three. The problem here is that this IP address is in a different subnet to this IP version four address. We are using slash 30 masks, or if you prefer this notation, 255.255.255.252. That's the subnet mask. Now using this subnet mask, Network here is 10.1.1.0. First IP address is 10.1.1.1. Second IP address is 10.1.1.2. Broadcast address is 10.1.1.3. However, for this IP address 10.1.1.5, the network that this device is on, let's do that as a show run, the network that this device is on is network 10.1.1.4. It's a different network. This device is on a different subnet to this device. So let's have a look at that. So 10.1.1.1. Network portion 255.255.255.252. That means the first octet is part of network. Second octet is part of network. Third octet is part of network. Somewhere here we've got host and network portion. So 252 looks like this. Just think of that as 255 minus 252 equals three. This is two in binary, this is one in binary. So 255 minus 252 is three. That's two plus one. So that portion is the host portion. This portion is the network portion. Assuming that word will let me highlight that. So let's try that again. That portion is the network portion. Now there's no gap in an octet, but I'm just doing that to make it easier to read. One equals that in binary. So that portion is the host portion. Now, to work out the network portion, we fill the host portion of the address with binary zeros. So, if we fill the host portion of the address with binary zeros, we're going to end up with zero. In other words, that is the network address. So, network equals this. First host equals that. So, let's say host one. Second host equals two in binary. And the broadcast equals the host portion filled with binary ones. So the broadcast looks like that which is three in decimal. So again, to work out the network, fill the host portion with binary zeros. First host looks like that. 
last host looks like that broadcast address looks like that so for this ip address 10 111 30 these are the two ip addresses in the same subnet five is in a different subnet so if we looked at five five is that so the network that five is on is actually decimal four so the network is actually 10 114 slash 30. first ip address is five so first host is that second host is six broadcast is seven these two are two separate subnets so this host 10.1.1.1/30 is on a separate subnet to this host 10.1.1.5. So they won't be able to ping each other. The way to fix that is to put host two in the same subnet as host one. So we need to change this IP address to IP address 10.1.1.2 like that, and then it should be able to ping router one, which it can, and router one should be able to ping router two. So originally, they weren't able to ping each other using IP version four. Now, just to make the point, I'll set this host back to 10.1.1.5 with slash 30 mask. So th this host will no longer, or should I say this router, will no longer be able to ping router one. They are on separate subnets. Now, in IP version six, they are actually in the same subnet. So router one can ping itself and it can ping router two. Show IPv6 interface gigabit zero zero. Notice global unicast address is that. On this side, show IP interface. I should actually do that IPv6 interface gigabit zero zero. Global unicast address is this. The network is actually 2001 followed by a bunch of zeros. Remember, this is a slash 64 subnet. So the subnet looks like that. They are both on the same subnet. So router 2 will be able to ping router 1. So per the original quiz question, these two routers will not be able to ping each other using IP version 4, but they will be able to ping each other using IPv6. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the quiz question. If you did, please like the video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.